All right, Pisces, what up? Let's see what messages we have for you guys for Wednesday. Today is May 22nd, 2024. Let's see what messages we have for the sign of Pisces, Holy Spirit, angels, and guides. God, universe, ancestors, and the highest of the most high. What's going on with my Pisces collective at this time? What do they need to know? What do they need to be aware of? Dogs, sorry for yelling. <laughs> dogs could be significant, okay? Like maybe you have dogs or a pet. I'm seeing two dogs, I'm seeing three dogs, okay? three dogs dogs symbolize loyalty uh so some of you guys could be getting together with friends um you have the eagle here triumph over troubles and obstacles some of you guys also need to look at things from a higher perspective or um what in the world uh, you have the man here dealings or relationship with a man this could be you this could be someone else who you're dealing with uh use your intuition to make beneficial changes what else for pisces what do they need to know you got the tiger doing something risky and taking a chance in the ink pot problems to be resolved and the good luck on the bottom of the deck with the horseshoe all right let's see why is the eagle here for pisces triumph over troubles and obstacles and problems to be resolved so whatever it is that you could be going through at this time pisces um i feel like you're going to overcome these things or some things could be being resolved or maybe you're um, in the process of resolving some type of issues use your intuition to make beneficial changes okay show me the eagle why is the eagle showing up in pisces reading today Triumph over troubles and obstacles. <clears throat> Oi. So Eight of Swords coming out in the reverse. This is coming out of something that may have felt restrictive, binding. Some of you guys could be letting go of some type of past situation or past people who could have been deceitful. Some of you guys are actually starting with this dog's card here, getting together with friends, and then the three of cups coming in the upright. Some of you guys could be getting together with friends, coming out of isolation, coming out of feeling restrictive or bound. Some of you guys, this could be literally within your own thoughts and your own emotions that could have been hindering you, something from pertaining to the past, maybe, you know, where there was some type of lies or deception. Tell me about the seven of swords. <clears throat> three of wands yeah i see you turning your back on deceptive energies or deceptive people some of you guys could also be strategizing a plan for the future on how to move forward or you could be making plans for the future and you're being very strategic with how you do so you're releasing yourself from something and i feel like you're coming into a very celebratory energy show me getting together with friends yeah i see you overcoming something especially with the eagle being here getting together with friends was that the eagle i was reading about i was reading about an eagle the other day i'm pretty sure yeah it was and how eagles have like um what was it about about eagles how they like i forget how many years they live like 45 or something don't quote me on that but um how they live a certain amount of years and they can either die or because their beaks like start to curve or they have to like go and they have to like fly into something really hard and break their beak so that it grows a new one. Isn't that a magnificent? Like, yeah. Anyways, I don't know why I just went off telling you that. And something about their talons, like ripping out their talons or something because they become unable to hunt for their food. So they either die or they bust their shit so that they can grow a new one. A little phoenixes okay dogs getting together with friends some of you guys maybe that's where we're going with this like some of you guys could be like going through like you know some type of transmutation where you're like a phoenix rising from the ashes like you're transcending some type of obstacles here that may have had you 
that may have kept you restricted and bound to something. Eight of Swords in the reverse. Six of Cups is coming out sideways. Like, um, I don't feel like this is plaguing your mental. I don't feel like this is restricting you in any way. There could still be a little bit of emotion that lingers there, but for the most part, I feel like you are coming back to like your roots or you, maybe you're starting Six of Cups too. Could talk about like innocence. So some of you guys could be coming back to like your, um, like getting back to yourself, you know? You, have you ever been in a situation or a friend, like been around friends or been in a relationship or whatever? And it's like, once you finally like get out of that, it's like, it takes you sometimes years, sometimes months, depending on how long the connection was to like get back to who you are. Mm. Anywho, getting together with friends, two of pentacles, uh, king of pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn energy, eight of cups, eight of wands, so two of pentacles, king of pentacles. Getting together with friends. Some of you guys are juggling like multiple priorities. Eight, eight here, infinity. Okay. Um, I see you disconnect. <clears throat> eight of cups, walking away from something, disconnecting from something. This can be, you know, some type of withdrawal. You may be soul searching, going into the unknown, but going towards your nine of cups, leaving eight cups behind, eight cups that ain't serving you. Some of you guys are going into the unknown. And with the eight of wands, this is progression. This is travel. This is momentum. So something here is picking up speed. Tell me about this king of pentacles energy. Some of you guys could be, um, actually tell me the two of pentacles. Oh, eight of pentacles in the reverse. And Knight of Wands. Hmm. So. Hmm, that's like a catch-22. You got 888 out here too. Some of you guys could be seeing that number, 888. Um. Tell me about this eight of pentacles in the reverse. Either some of you guys are no longer putting an effort into a certain situation and you're trying to like keep something afloat, keep something in balance. Give me this eight of pentacles in the reverse. Okay, so some of you guys, um, shit, what did I see? Oh, some of you guys, um, some of you guys could have like some type of stress or worry surrounding an unsatisfying work environment or an unsatisfactory job, or maybe you feel like you're not getting paid enough or you're just not happy there. You're bored, discontent with whatever you do for work. There could be like, you may be feeling uninspired or there could be a lack of creativity, maybe even a lack of growth. And you're trying to find some type of balance here maybe trying to pursue something that you're passionate about because you're not interested or you're just complacent with something that you are working on yeah six of swords four cups it's like you're trying to move past something here that i feel like you're discontent with show me the knight of wands and go towards something here that you are passionate about but you could be in yeah you're trying to make like smart moves here or you're trying to use logic you're trying to um Possibly even strategize some type of plan for action um, on how you can bring something into balance or how you can juggle something. For some of you guys, this could even be like, um, I want to do this, but I'm going to have to, you know, juggle this or I'm going to have to move this around because this is just not where it's at. So I need to come up with a plan to make it where it is at. <laughs> Show me the king of pentacles. The Knight of Wands again. Yeah, there's some type of a business endeavor. I feel like you're being called to take action on that could bring in a lot of growth for you. 
yeah, a lot of success, a lot of growth, a lot of stability. It is going to be a little bit of an uphill. I don't even want to say that. A little bit of a struggle here, but I feel like you have what it takes. I feel like as soon as you walk away or you dis you disconnect from something that is emotionally draining, something's going to pick up speed for you very quickly. Some of you too could even be releasing like a friend group. Um, or just people from your past, siblings, children. Well, uh, don't take that if it doesn't resonate, obviously. Some of you it may. Yeah, something's going to move forward. I feel like this is a major choice or a decision to like disconnect from something. is It's going to actually propel you forward. It's going to turn this wheel. Things are going to start shifting and turning, picking up momentum, picking up speed. But I feel like it comes with you being resourceful and disconnecting and going after something that you're passionate about, but also doing so in a logic way, like coming up, not just doing something sporadically. The King of Swords is someone who's, you know, they're organized, they're detailed, they're structured, they're disciplined. They don't just, you know. This is knowing all the facts and then taking action in pursuit of something. And it looks to be something pertaining to business. Some of you could even have a friend that could be advising you of something. Anyways, show me. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Four of Swords. So make sure you sleep on whatever this is that you've been thinking about. The world. Overnight success. Wow, okay. Dude, I'm having like some weirdos freaking texting me, y'all. Like I got some chick texting me. What the hell? This is a new number. Who's playing on my phone, y'all? I don't ever get shit like this. <laughs> Someone texted me this morning saying, I'm so proud of you. I know you can do it. And I said, you have the wrong number. She said, it's me, Cynthia. Remember me? And that's her face. So if you guys get her face, since she's just giving it out to everybody. Nope. I said, nope. And she's like, oh my God, so sorry. I thought you were my best friend. Hope I didn't disturb your time. I was like, it's all good. Trying to be nice, right? And then she said, thank you. It's so nice to get to know such a nice, friendly person like you. Introduce me, Cynthia. Who am I talking to? And it's like, you know, you get that kind of like soliciting through like Snapchat or Instagram, but on my fucking phone, like I've had this number for years. Anyways, and now I just got one from a different phone number. Last night, why didn't you come to my house for dinner? <laughs> what the fuck? Okay. Okay. I don't know what to say, y'all. Sorry to interrupt your reading, but you guys have heard my phone go off like so many times. Maybe I should turn the ringer down. Because I'm being distracted by weirdos right now. I ain't got time. Anybody got time for that? Okay. <sighs> All right, show me the unicorn. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. Some of you guys have been thinking about closing some type of a cycle out for a very long time. There, there's like a brand new opportunity here waiting for you. Literally, literally waiting for you. But it's up to you to have the strength and the courage to, to what? Yeah, strength and the courage to what? 
It's almost like the divine is trying to offer you something here, Pisces. Temperance. Ten of fucking cups. Wow. Use your intuition to make beneficial changes. You got Sagittarius, Leo, Aquarius, Scorpio, Taurus. Aquarius, Leo, Scorpio, Taurus. Yeah. Gemini is also out here. Show me what dealing a relationship with a man is. I'm going to come back to that. Nine of Swords. Seven of Cups. Okay. So, I don't know if you're stressed out or I'm speaking to a man who could be feeling stressed out or someone's stressed out over an emperor or about a choice surrounding a father figure, a baby daddy, an Aries, a King of Cups, Queen of Wands showing itself. Could strongly be fire and water. This could be someone who's very attractive. You may love this person. But this person is causing a lot of stress, a lot of confusion, or something you're confused about making a choice or a decision, and it's stressing you out. The Spirit is telling you to withdraw, reflect. Show me this Emperor energy, the Eight of Pentacles in the reverse, in the moon. Somebody could be hiding something that they do for work, or somebody could be hiding the fact that they lost a job. Virgo energy is here. Pisces, Cancer, Aries. Why does this Eight of Pentacles keep coming out in the reverse? You got strong masculine energy in this reading. I could be speaking to a masculine or I'm speaking about a masculine. I'm not sure. Damn. Huh. So Pisces, I don't know who you are, which person you are in this reading, but there is a feminine energy here. Queen of Pentacles, the star, the chariot. The Justice card, the Knight of Swords, the Two of Cups. Someone here is like stable and some type of, you know, healing energy. Someone here could be a healer, um, a light worker of some sort. Someone here could even be a tarot reader. Someone here could just be a healer. Someone here may, you know, be a nurse or do something that is healing or helpful for others. Um, Reiki, yoga, dance, meditation freaking gardening club on the weekend i don't know but someone here i feel like is influential very grounded inspiring someone here is having a lot of forward movement a lot of positive forward movement here with the star and the chariot and the justice card and this is someone's justice the two of cups and the knight of swords i don't know if there's someone's moving into a relationship there's talks about a partnership or a relationship or someone's coming towards you wanting to seize an opportunity for a relationship. And then you got the three of swords, the two of pentacles, the seven of pentacles. So it's like, and the four of swords. I feel like someone here could be feeling heartbroken. Someone who may have juggled you or vice versa. Someone who kept you waiting, waiting and waiting. Four of swords and seven of pentacles. Okay. I feel like you've set up boundaries with whoever this person is and that's bringing in success for you. I do feel like you're standing your ground or you're very guarded or your home is protected or you are um, someone's feeling like the wounded warrior and whoever this is, this is someone who held back from another person. 
I cannot watch this weird shit anymore. I don't know what came on, but every time I look up, it's distracting. Okay. So let me just not, let's see, let's go. Doing something risky, taking a chance. What's Pisces doing that's so risky, spirit? The world in the reverse, okay? So not closing a cycle out would be risky. I would be taking a chance. Tell me more. What is Pisces doing that's so risky? Knight of Cups. That's, that's the second time I've seen that King of Cups and Queen of Wands. Some here may have strong fire and water in their chart. Whether it's you or someone else, I'm not sure. Pisces, Leo energy. In this deck, y'all. Show me the tiger. What is Pisces doing that's so risky? There could be an apology or a message coming in. Someone expressing something. This could be you. This could be someone else. Three of Cups. Someone's coming in for like a reconciliation or wanting to apologize. Not wanting some type of cycle or an ending to occur. Yeah, because someone's feeling like the wounded warrior. And it's like someone's coming in trying to make something right. Why is it so risky? Tell me that. Why? Because so, someone's been watching you celebrate or someone's... There could be new love here. Or someone has an eye on someone's blessings, wants to celebrate. Mm -hmm. Taking, doing something risky. The star. Yeah, there's some type of a wish fulfillment. What's the wish fulfillment for Pisces? New love? Some type of a blessing? And there's someone here watching or like studying or trying to get information. Maybe somebody's like watching someone celebrate or watching someone's friends or keeping an eye or talking to friends or maybe someone's talking to their own friends. Mm. What's a wish fulfillment for Pisces? The Queen of Pentacles and Justice. You being balanced, you being grounded, maybe even possibly some type of commitment, uh, Libra energy, Virgo. Be careful with any overspending or there's someone else around you who could like overspend or they're hiding the fact that they don't, they hate their fucking job. <laughs> I don't know. Who is this? Knight of Wands, King of Swords. Could be an air sign. Libra, Sag. They may have Libra, Sag in their chart. Capricorn, Virgo, Cancer, maybe. <sighs> Getting together with friends. Is this is this someone's friend? There's an opportunity here that I feel like someone's been waiting for and it's taken someone like a lot of strength, a lot of courage, a lot of patience, maybe even planning. Someone's put a lot of thought into something. Someone here could be even be dreaming about traveling or dreaming about doing something online or someone could be even astro traveling. Whoa. Where did that go? Literally.
Am I making any damn sense? I feel like I just jumped all over. Like I'm not even knowing what's the point of this reading. But problems to be resolved. Problems to be resolved. The hair font. Taurus energy. Tell me more. The tower. So there could be like some type of a commitment or a contract or a title that maybe comes unexpectedly, that comes as a shock, the strength. You got three majors, Taurus, Scorpio, Leo here. Strong fixed energy. Tell me more problems to be resolved. Whatever this is, it's major. Um, and again, it's like somebody, somebody's in the lovers, Gemini energy. Strong, strong fixed energy, Libra, Gemini Cancer, maybe. Virgo. Aries. Sag. Okay, I guess we got a few signs out here. But four majors. Problems to be resolved. Whatever this is, this is major. This is a major choice. A major life lesson. Someone has overcame something that was very destructive or chaotic. Tell me more about the tower. The chariot. Yeah, someone's like... Another major cancer energy. There's a lot of determination, willpower, and drive. Yeah, I feel like someone here, boy, someone here has been very structured, very disciplined, and someone's moving away or planning to move away. Um, Someone's been very like focused on some type of wish fulfillment, on going towards some type of nine of cups. And the Empress, they're gonna get it. There's gonna be growth, abundance, fertility. The strength card. Ten of Pentacles. Yo, someone's about to get something like very major, very large for overcoming something that could have been sent to destruct somebody or to like to break something, to break someone down. But I feel like someone learned a lesson from this or somebody made the right choice or decision and decided to. Uh, you know, overcome something that was very difficult, make good choices. Show me the lovers. Show me the lovers. Four of cups. Damn. The decision could have been to, to, to reject somebody who you share a soul contract with. Oh, yay, yay. go after <sighs> see what I'm saying someone here is like okay someone here is like m m two of swords can talk about making a very difficult choice or decision to like seize an opportunity or to like um... oh yeah to like Seize an opportunity. Um, to go after something. I almost feel like someone here was like. Okay, let me just keep going. Six of Cups in the reverse. Someone here is like letting go of, like I said in the beginning of this read. Letting go of some type of past situation that has caused somebody like a lot of stress. A lot of worry. A lot of anxiety. This could literally be a person. Someone's like choosing to like, I don't know, I don't want to say go somebody, but like withdraw from somebody following their intuition, no longer working with someone. There's too much confusion. There's too much anxiousness. There could be control here. 
or someone who's controlling. There very well could be somebody coming back to someone who has not done the work. Or this person is just disloyal, they're unreliable. And I feel like somebody's making a difficult decision, like being very strategic and making future plans for their future to, or like, it's almost like someone's like tunnel vision. And I feel like, um, I don't see that card here, but I don't even feel like this is hurting somebody. Cause I don't have like the three of swords, the five of cups. I don't have the five of swords or any of that stuff. I don't even feel like someone's like really hurting over this. I feel like someone's just like disappointed maybe, or seeing the truth of a situation that somebody may be self-absorbed or, or, um, realizing that something is stagnating them, whether it's a friend, a lover, uh, somebody, somebody's realizing that like something is, do I got that card out here? Like blocking their forward movement in some way. And someone's like tunnel vision, like, I don't even feel like it hurts somebody. Somebody's just like, this isn't conducive to my life. This isn't helping me. Some of you guys could have gotten some like intuitive downloads or messages. Doing something risky. I just feel like someone here is choosing themselves. And I don't necessarily think it hurts. I do think it's required somebody like an immense amount of strength or courage to make this decision it wasn't an easy decision it was difficult but i feel like somebody is, like knows that it has to be made so it's not really like it could cause like a little bit of stress or anxiety letting go of whatever this is um but I also feel like somebody has like outgrown a situation as well. And that's bringing somebody closer to like their 10 of pentacles their 10 of cups, whatever this opportunity is, because someone here has like had a lot of strength. Someone here has done a lot of healing. I also feel like someone's done a lot of thinking about this. A lot of praying, even meditating. Yeah, someone's choice here is like shifting. It's turn. Someone's choice is like turning this wheel and it has to do with disconnecting from one thing and going or something else, the sun. You may have people who like, I don't know. Mm. Yeah, there goes that emperor again. I don't know who this person is, but there's conflict surrounding this person or competition. This person could be given to others or whatever, or they just breadcrumb you. This is someone who's very, like, they could be someone who's very, like, um, independent, my way or the highway. And I feel like someone's just, like, I'm not, there's no, like, building cards here either. Like, I don't see anybody building. The Eight of Pentacles is in the reverse, twice, connected to this masculine. So it's almost like this masculine doesn't want to work together. They don't want to build. They don't want to put in any effort. They're not going anywhere. 
I'm mean, maybe they're going somewhere, but they're not trying to go somewhere with whoever else is showing up in this reading, a feminine energy. And again, it you know, it doesn't have to be man and woman. Roles can be reversed. There's just one person here who I feel like is more kind of controlling. And, you know, with the Seven of Cups, Nine of Swords, like, doesn't really, like, you know, creates a little bit of confusion or procrastinates or isn't very clear and direct. It just causes more anxious anxiety and fear. Someone here may even fear building with somebody, so they just don't. And so someone's like, okay, well, if you don't want to build with me or work together with me, I'm going to let this go. And I feel like that's actually propelling another person forward by doing this. This could even be two, seven of swords, three of wands. Someone here could be lying about like making plans for the future. Three of wands is another card of waiting. It's like someone here could be just like, blowing smoke up someone's ass and like keeping somebody waiting for oh what's going to be in the future what do you call that future faking seven of swords three wants future fucking faking sorry but that's whatever someone here is releasing or overcoming i feel like there was someone here who was trying to hold on to a person with like some intention of happiness or growth like some type of thinking something was going to go somewhere, but I feel like as soon as someone decides to detach, their life actually propels forward because it's not where it's at. Anyways, I hope that all made sense. I know my readings can be a little wild sometimes, but I appreciate those of you guys that actually follow. Um, yeah, y'all be sure to hit the like button, smash the thumbs up. I'm going to do some more readings. They're probably going to be a little shorter than this one though. Um, so let me know. Uh, if this reading resonates with you guys, I love you guys so much and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.